guys, it's your boy Will back in the video. Today I'll be talking about ticker symbol SNDL. Give you guys some key support levels and my future price that I'm looking at for this stock. So make sure you guys like the video, turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video or any updates on any stocks. Subscribe and also if you want to know when I'm buying and selling stocks, check out my Patreon page down below or if you just want to support the channel, okay? So my first support level is at 62 cents and the next one is 60 cents, okay? It's been real choppy. That's why I haven't been playing it. Um, I want to play on moves that are like this or that are like this, right? I don't want to play in here. I don't want to play in here. So I'm looking for the next move, whether that be down or up, is still crucial because if it does come down, this is where I can see where we might see some buying pressure, right? But if it starts coming up, then we have to wait for it to create a new um, support area for us to buy off of, okay? If we don't buy up on hype, like if it went like this, you would not buy up here. You would wait for the pullback and you would buy down here. And you would buy a 46 and you just would have held and then you would have got that good play. Okay. So make sure you guys have these levels 62 and 60. As you can see, price has been bouncing off these levels, came down, bounce off again, came down, bounce off again. So these are key support levels. Like I said, you will see some buying pressure off of. As you can see right here, these buying pressures kind of look like price doesn't want to come down. Seem like it kind of wants to go higher to make newer highs. And my target uh, for this stock is above a dollar. So that's what I'm really looking for is above a dollar. So anything below that is still a good buying opportunity, but I want to buy it down here. It just hasn't came down here during normal hours. This is all pre-market, after-market, after-market, okay? I want to come down here doing regular hours and then I will get um, some shares right here and then hold it for higher prices. But if it does come down, that's why we use risk management. So if it does come down and doesn't affect us, we just get out to play and we look for the next play. OK, so these are the levels I'm looking for. And this is how I'm playing this stock. So I hope you guys like the video. Remember, it's not, not a recommendation to buy or sell anything. This is for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in these videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.